Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel A Square Academy. Today we are going to see third normal form. Okay, we have already discussed the concept of normalization and we have started with types of normal form. We have seen first NF, uh, second normal form. Now today we are going to see third normal form. Okay, now 3NF that is third normal form. So this is the third step in normalization. Okay, the three N F is the third step in normalization. When we say a table is in three N F, if a relation is in two N F, we have already seen what is two N F. Two N F is free from partial dependency. Next, it has no transitive functional dependency. So remember here that when a table to be in three N F, it must be in 2NF and there must be no transitive functional dependency. Now what is tra transitive functional dependency? You can see over here. What is transitive functional dependency? If A determines B and B determines C, then A determines C. So this concept is called as transitive functional dependency. We have already seen this in the Armstrong axioms. Okay, You can watch that particular video. right? So what is the case over here? 3NF A table to be in 3NF It must be first in 2NF And second No transitive functional dependency Must exist in that particular table And we have seen What is transitive functional dependency If A implies B Or A determines B And B determines C Then A determines C This is what called as Transitive functional dependency Let us understand the concept of third normal form with the example over here. Okay, I have taken one table that is movie listing with certain attributes and the value present in this. When you observe this table, okay, when you observe this table, you will come to know that this table is not in 3NF. Why it is not in 3NF? Because there exists a transitive functional dependency over here. Okay, there exists a transitive functional dependency. How there exists a transi transitive functional dependency? Just see here movie ID. You can see the values of movie ID, and you see movie ID determines listing ID. Okay, movie ID determines listing ID. That means what? Listing ID is functionally dependent on movie ID, right? Again, we see over here listing type is functionally dependent on listing id this means what movie id determines listing id and listing id determines listing type right therefore we say here movie id determines listing type which is said to be as transitive functional dependency exists in this movie listing table okay this is what the transitive functional dependency if movie id determines listing id and listing id determines listing type then we say movie id determines listing type so there exists a func transitive functional dependency in table that's why we say this table is not in a 3nf right now how we are going to convert the above table in 3nf okay we have to decompose the table in such a way that the transitive functional dependency is totally removed from that table. Okay. So we have decomposed the above table in two tables like movie and listing. Here you can see the attributes movie ID, listing ID and DVD price. Okay. The listing type which was dependent, which is depending on listing ID. We have totally taken these two attributes in the new table. Right. So here, movie ID, listing ID and DVD price. There is no transitive functional dependency in this entire table. In this entire table. Right. Again here in listing also you can see there is no transitive functional dependency in the entire table. Here movie ID determines listing ID. Again movie ID only determines DVD price. Okay. Movie ID is the primary key for this movie table. So only listing ID and DVD price totally depends on the primary key of the table. Similarly in the listing table also, listing type totally depends on the listing ID. 
this is the primary key of the listing table so this is how we have removed the transitive functional dependency from the above table now we can say there is a 3 nf which exists in this table okay let us understand with one more example okay you can see here this is the table named as book details which is having the attributes like book id gender id gen gen type and the price okay you can see in this table book id determines gender id right and gender id determines gender type you can see here whatever i have written over here so book id determines gender id and gender id determines gender type okay therefore we say what book id determines gender type so this implies what there exists a transitive functional dependency if there is a transitive functional dependency in the table then the table is not in 3nf we have to convert this table into 3nf by decomposing the table in a proper format okay so here you can see book id gender id and the price we have taken in one uh, one table and the another table contains gender id and gender type book id is the primary key for this table and gender id is the primary key for this table gender id depends on book id price depends on book id right and here gender type depends on gender id so there is no transitive functional dependency in this two tables and we say this two tables are now in 3nf right Thank you for watching my video. If you have understood the concept, please do like my channel, subscribe my channel, comment if you haven't got anything or you have understood the concept. Okay, and share my link with your friends. Thank you.